guys, Emily here, also known as Aussie Don't Free Girl here on the interweb. If you are new to my channel, I am a 29 year old mother of two based in Brisbane and I post all about frugal living, building wealth, saving money, paying off debt. So yeah, if you're into that, don't forget to subscribe, click that little notification bell to get notified when I post new videos and comment and tell me what you want to see. I'm always happy to work with you guys. Um, I'm also over on Instagram and Facebook if you want to find me there. So yeah, this is our very first cup of tea and a chat video for 2021. I have my new mug, my new backdrop, my new hair, and I'm ready to go. So I thought, first of all, I might talk about sort of how 2020 ended my goals for 2021 and then how January is going so far. So yeah. Okay, so last year was a bit of a shit show, let's be honest. Um, and it was for everyone and it was especially for us. And I'm very glad it's over. <laughs> but we had a good Christmas, we stayed at home majority of the time, we did actually get a diagnosis for my son if you were following along. We know what's wrong with him and sort of what we can do now and that'll be an ongoing thing so there'll be expenses for that and I'll explain them as they come up when you come along. Also Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, I can't remember which one, my lovely son stood on my only pair of glasses, so I had to rush out to Specsavers on Boxing Day and order new glasses. They've just arrived today. It is the 13th of January, I believe. And because I had no glasses in the meantime, I also had to buy contacts, which I've got in now. You guys can see me, I can see you. Um, and that was a big expense. So all up, that cost us about $540, more than usual, because of having to get those contacts to get me through in the meantime. But I ordered enough that I'll have some leftovers for doing videos with you guys and stuff like that, so I don't have the glasses on and the weird reflections and all that. <laughs> um, but it cost me $540. I got two pairs, one pair of sunglasses for driving and, you know, daytime stuff. Uh, I got ultra clear, no scratch and polarizing on those and these ones, Marc Jacobs, they were the $2.99 range, two for $2.99 range at Specsavers and then I also got these other one, these other Marc Jacobs ones, so yeah, that was $540 including two months worth, two packets of contacts which were $35 each. Expensive, but this is what we have an emergency fund for and this is what I put money aside for To buy new glasses every two years anyway, and I was coming up on that two years. I think I just passed it actually, so it's not too bad So there was that um, We also had the alternator belt in the cargo thankfully I was able to source one on Christmas Eve and then my hubby was able to put it in on Christmas Day so that we didn't lose the car, it didn't break down. So that was good. So yeah, um, let's talk about 2021 goals. So for 2021, I am going to do or attempt to do $21,000 in 2021. Last year I did 20K in 2020 and we hit that and actually went over a little bit. It was hard. And it was a lot of work but I'm committed and that will also feed into my five-year goal of saving a hundred thousand dollars in five years so there's that I will obviously post as I go and let you know how that's going um, I also want to side hustle ten thousand dollars this year to help towards that goal and towards our overall lifestyle and last year my goal was seven thousand five hundred and I believe we ended the year on seven thousand 650 so we did that so I'm super excited about that I also want to set up at least one passive income stream that might be YouTube if it was to take off I know there's some debate about whether that's passive income 
I believe it is because you make the video once but then you know you get paid for it for quite a long time afterwards. Um, I'm also working on a ebook cookbook for frugal living and reducing your grocery budget um, for a family of four um, that's going to include prices, um, recipes, meal plans, meal plan ideas and just tips and tricks. So I would consider that a passive income again because I would write the cookbook once and then I would make it available on my blog for you guys to purchase whenever you want forever basically. So yeah, so $21,000, save $21,000 in 2021, side hustle $10,000 and set up at least one passive income stream. If that was to go well, I would like to set up two. That would be great. Um, and I also want to invest at least $1,000 this year. I'm hoping to do more, but obviously the other goals are more important to me. So that's kind of a secondary goal. I, at this point, my plan is to stick all of my side hustle money from Octopus Group, the survey site, towards investing because last year I hit 1400 just um, in surveys and stuff last year. So if I can invest similar this year, that would achieve that goal without, you know, messing up all my other goals. So yeah, um, those are my 2021 goals. So far in January, I'm a little behind on the side hustle front. I should be um, further along than I am. But again, it's January, things are still opening up. Things have been really busy for me. I've had no glasses. I haven't been able to like do a lot of things. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I will be posting a big cook up soon for the freezer and I will also be posting another video of what we eat in a week. So stay tuned for that. Thanks guys.